Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and today we're on the red carpet here in Brooklyn supporting one of the world's great organizations, Amnesty International, as they throw their Art for Amnesty event. We'll be bringing interviews with the legendary Harry Belafonte, as well as Estelle, Orange is a New Black creator, Piper Kerman, and more, so get ready for a great day behind the velvet rope. You're here supporting such an incredible organization and such an incredible event, Amnesty International, and what they're doing with Art for Amnesty. Talk to me about being here to support this wonderful organization. Well, I've been a member of Amnesty for almost all of its existence, and I have uh, always been a long admirer of its uh, platform. And it has done so much for our world at large, not only in monitoring human rights and all of the progressive things that it does, but how it enlightens the young and brings information to the community at large, I think, is, a, is, a, is extremely important and very beneficial. And I'm just very happy to do anything they ask me to do. One of the things that's incredible about you, outside of a legendary music career, is your activism and, and becoming a voice for people. Talk to me about that thirst for activism and, and doing it for so many years. Well, most people are under the assumption that I'm an artist who became an activist. And although, when it's really quite the contrary, or the other way, I'm an activist who became an artist. So I brought my activism into the arts, and uh, as a matter of fact, it was the arts that attracted me to uh, uh, ideas and concepts that I could uh, uh, pursue in, uh, in the use of my art. And I've always seen art only as a tool for social development and human, human rights and human activism. It's when artists don't do that work that I become somewhat concerned and alarmed. And there are too many that don't. Yeah. Amnesty International, talk to me about it. This is amazing. I love the work that Amnesty do. I've actually had a chance to work with them almost 10 years ago. Um, we went to Brazil and we're talking about some of the same things that we're going to be talking about today. Back then, you know, it's almost like it's kind of exploded into the same problems were around the world. So this is kind of good to still be, you know, able to speak and able to have a real life uh, perspective on it, you know, even though it's 10 years later and it's kind of exploded and been the same issues, but you know, it's great that they're still doing the work and they're still bringing the same issues to light, you know. You get to be on the panel with not only one of the greatest singers of all time, no. but one of the greatest activists. Talk to me about Harry right? Belafonte. How cool is he? He's amazing. It's <laughs> Harry Belafonte, before I was even thought about, you know? And, and I think I love his spirit, his energy, and he's still so committed and still so, you know, still realizes his worth and the part and being a part of the course, you know, being a part of speaking out, just speaking out and having something to say as an artist. You know, I think he's he's a he's the beacon. Amnesty International uh, obviously has an incredible legacy of addressing human rights abuses all over the world. And of course we have human rights abuses right here in the United States. And if you want to see proof of that, all you have to do is look at the prison system. Um, whether you look at Florida or uh, any number of states or also the federal system, you see really shocking examples, whether you're talking about solitary confinement and its overuse and abuse, or whether you're talking about incredible just physical assault of prisoners by staff in places like Attica, you know, a legendary New York state prison, or, you know, many, many different Florida state prisons have had horrendous uh, murders of prisoners by staff. So. What we see, whether we're talking about the streets of Ferguson or whether we're talking about the streets of Staten Island, is that there are many instances in which the criminal justice system offers really stark examples of human rights abuses right here within U.S. borders. And Amnesty International is one of the organizations which is leading the charge to make sure that we hold powerful people accountable when human rights abuses occur. Speaking of leading the charge, this phenomenon that you've created, did you ever imagine that Orange is a New Black would become what it's become? I mean, it is, it's incredible to see not only the success the show has had, but also the breakout stars from Laverne to Uzo to you name it. It's incredible. 
When I was sitting uh, with hundreds and hundreds of other men and women heavily, heavily shackled on Con Air, I did not imagine that someday, you know, 10 years later, we would be seeing amazing stories brought to life in the Netflix series by Genji Cohan and her team um, that show the humanity of people in prison and show uh, how our criminal justice system needs to change. And it is absolutely thrilling to see people like Laverne Cox inhabit those characters, yep. people like Uzo Adubo and of course wonderful Taylor Schilling bring those characters to life and really make us care about people in prison in a way that perhaps people never expected to do.